Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Height Math. In today's fifth grade math lesson, we will be reviewing the decimal place value problems in the 2019 Star Math Test Prep Workbook. If you don't have the workbook, there will be a link in the description box. Fifth graders, remember, be the best you today. Let's get started. Our first problem says, a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is shown in expanded notation. 9 times 10 plus 4 times 10. How is this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit written as a numeral? So the first question we are going to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? In solving a problem, that's immediately the first thing you need to think about so that you can ensure you are answering the problem correctly. In this problem, we are looking for how the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is written as a numeral. The next question we should ask ourselves is, what information can help me find the answer? Now that I know what I'm looking for, now I need to look for clues or information that will help me find the answer. In this problem, I know that the 9 is in the tens place because we have 9 times 10, and that 4 is in the tenths place because it says 4 times 10. How do I solve the problem? Well, what I need to do is think about the place value chart. So we have an example here of a place value chart. We have the nine in the tens place and we have the four in the tens place. If you notice, there is a zero in the ones place and you may be asking yourself, why is there a zero in the ones place? That's a good question. The reason is because in our expanded notation, there is no number that we multiplied by the ones place. Since there was no number, what we can do is put a zero there and it's zero. It can be considered a placeholder, but the value is zero. So to solve the problem, what we did was we entered our numbers, nine in the tens place, four in the tens place, and also zero in the ones place to solve the problem. What is the correct answer in numeral form? It's 90.5. Four. Let's move to problem number two. Which comparison is not true? A is 3.375 is greater than 3.275. B is 6.875 is less than 6.9. C is 2.65 is greater than 2.675, D is 7.675, it's less than 7.75. Now remember, when we are doing a comparison of numbers, the large part or the alligator's mouth always opens up to which part? the greatest value, okay? Remember, when we're looking at or comparing numbers, the mouth part or the wider part of the inequality opens up to the greatest value or the biggest number or the largest number, okay? So keep that in mind as we move on in our problem. What are we looking for? Remember, that's the first question we immediately ask. We are looking for the comparison that is not true. That means that the wide mouth part is opened up to the smaller number and not the larger number, okay? What 
What information can help find the answers? Well, again, we said that the open mouth part is the greater than sign when it's opened up to the left. That's the greater than sign. And the less than sign, the larger part is opened up to the right. But again, remember, the easiest way to figure out is look at the numbers and ask yourself, the part that has the widest mouth or the widest part open to it, is that the largest number? And then you can answer the problem. Let's figure out how we need to solve the problem. What we're going to do is look at each answer choice and we are going to see and compare the numbers to find the answer that is false or that is not true. Okay, let's look at A. We have 3.375 is greater than 3.275. So we know that this is true. So we know that the ones, they both have a three in the ones place. Okay, but then look at the tenths place. In the tenths place, there is a three for 3.375. And on the right, there's 3.275. So which part of the mouth should be open to the 3.375? If you said the greatest part, you are absolutely right. Let's look at B. We have 6.875 is less than 6.9. We have both have six in the ones place. Now let's pay attention to the tenths place. There's an eight in the 6.875 in the tenths place, and there's a nine in the 6.9 answer. I'm sorry, not answer, number. So 6.9 is greater than 6.875. Why? Because nine is greater than eight. Even though the eight has a seven and a five behind it, that doesn't mean that it's a larger number. We look at the number, the first number um, that is different to see which is greater. And for this answer choice B, the 6.9 is greater than 6.875. Let's look at C. We have 2.65 is greater than 2.675. Well, you see the red, so you know that this is incorrect, but let's see why. We see that we have a two in the ones place for both numbers. We see that we have a six in the tenths place for both numbers, but let's look at the hundreds place. In the hundreds place, there's a five in the 2.65 number, but there's a seven in the 2.675, which is greater, five or seven? We know it's not five, we know it's seven, so the mouth is open to the wrong number. It should be open to the 2.675. D, and we already know the answer choice, but we wanna go over it because practice helps you to build skills, okay? So for D, we have 2.675 is less than 7.75. Well, this is correct because the six is less than the seven. So what is our correct answer? We said that it's C because 2.65 is actually less than, not greater than, 2.675. Let's move to our next problem. Number three, Elias has three containers of cooking oil. The table shows the volume of cooking oil in each container. Which list shows the container in order from least to greatest volume in liters. We see our chart, so container X, the volume in liters is 0 0.946. 
Container Y is 0 0.502. Container Z is 1.42. Let's look at our answer choices. F is container X, container Y, container Z, G, container Y, container X, container Z, H, container Z, container Y, container X, J, container Z, container X, container Y. That was surely a tongue twister, but we got through it. Let's move on. What's our first question? What are we looking for? That will help us solve the question. Again, that's the first thing we need to ask ourselves. And we are looking for the list that shows the container in order from least to greatest volume, or another way of saying it is smallest to largest volume, okay? Least to greatest, or we can say smallest to largest volume. What information can help find the answer? Knowing the leader, the volume of the leaders of the containers and leaders will help us find the answer. We know that container X, the volume is 0 0.946. For container Y, it's 0 0.502. And for container Z, it's 1.42. How do we solve the problem? In order to solve the problem, we need to put our decimals or our volume in from least to greatest, or another way of saying it is from smallest to largest. And in looking at our, the volume of all of our containers, we can tell that container Y is the least because it's 0 0.502. Number two, X is 0 0.946. And the volume for container Z is 1.42. What is the correct answer? So now that we have our volume, the containers listed from least to greatest, Let's look at our answer choices to see what the correct answer is. I'll give you a few moments to think about it and choose your answer, have it in your head, and then we'll check to see if you're right. Are you ready? The correct answer choice is G. G list the containers in order from least to greatest. We have container Y, container X, and container Z. That's it for the fifth grade star math problems in our star test prep workbook 2019 for fifth